There's an article today on Axios reporting that the National Archives and Records Administration has faced numerous threats in the aftermath of the FBI search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. This is in addition to the multiple threats that were made against the FBI after the search, as well as death threats against the judge who signed a search warrant, all of which is simply a continuation of a trend where Trump supporters threaten those who oppose Trump. Since Trump's loss in the 2020 election, there has been the abject hatred of and serious threats against election workers, volunteers, and elected officials involved in tabulating the votes, including their families. And the various politicians who have opposed Trump over the last few years have also been subject to some of the most vile and reprehensible threats one can imagine, including death threats against them and their loved ones. Substantial hatred has also been aimed at the media since Trump burst onto the political scene, as Trump proclaimed them the enemy of the people, and his supporters promptly reacted with absolute rage and even threats of violence. In fact, almost anyone who has opposed Trump in any way over the last few years has been on the receiving end of vitriol, hatred, and even threats against their lives. One has to simply remember the chance of hang Mike Pence to understand that no one is safe. There simply is something about Trump that brings out the hatred in people. There's a darkness to him that makes his supporters hate anyone that he hates. And make no mistake about it, Trump is filled with hatred. But here's the thing. Just like numerous Trump supporters try and justify their own hatred for those who oppose Trump, there are also large numbers of people on the left who see nothing wrong with hating him, his supporters, or conservatives in general. Even worse, much of this hatred is coming from men and women who call themselves Christian, and yet fill their own hearts with the hatred of others. I talked about this before in an older video called Hate vs. Hate, which I'll put a link to up top. The Bible says that in the last days love will wax cold, and by extension this means that hatred will grow by leaps and bounds. And we can see this happening right in front of us in America, as the hatred of other people seems to be the new national pastime. And this isn't limited to just the right or the left. Over the last couple of years since I've had this channel, I received many comments and emails that either are full of hatred against anyone who opposes Trump, or are full of hatred against Trump and those who support him. Both of these things are wrong, and the more we allow this hatred to fester inside of us, the further away from the kingdom of God we become. All of this hatred is completely at odds with what the Bible teaches us. So here's what we need to understand. If we hate those who criticize Trump, or if we hate those who support Trump, all of this hatred is coming from the same place. And I think we all know what place that is. Thank you for watching, and if you care to leave a comment, please do. As always, kindly be respectful in any comment you leave, especially towards those with whom you disagree. I'll talk to you guys soon.